Uh, here is a little walkthrough in my experience of the command recorder for Blender 2.8. Tried a couple different versions of this, and the final version, which worked very well for me so far, uh, was a fork done by Riven HD. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, through the process, I had a little bit of an issue trying to install it, and I'll walk through that right now. Uh, the file has already been downloaded, so we'll go to install it. Here we can see the downloaded file. Go to install. You can see it's been installed. Module's been installed. Blah, 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 blah. Go to search for it in the list. C O M M. And nothing. So what I had to do is close down Blender. Go to Blender's plugin scripts folder. Rename this particular add on folder. We have it selected right here Command Recorder 2.8 Master. The 2.8 master needs to be removed, and the folder name just has to be Command Recorder. There we go. Start Blender back up. Check the list. And now we see it shows back up in the list. We'll enable it. Save, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we shall keep the cube. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and here we have the command recorder tab right here. So, is what I want to do is within edit mode, I want to be able to select a vertex, change the 3D uh, cursor point to that vertex, tab back out into object mode, and reset the origin point, the gizmo, to that point we just selected in edit mode. So, we'll start a new command here. I'm just going to leave it untitled. I'll go into edit mode, select a vertex. And now I'm going to record my macro or whatever you want to call this. Uh, press the record button. So I want to do Shift S. Set it to there. Tab button out. Object, set origin. We're all done with that. And then hit unpause or stop recording it. As you see, it recorded our three actions right here. And we'll give this a test run. Right now we're down here in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, if I rotate it, there we go. So I'll go into edit mode, select this corner, hit play. And we're, as you see, we're back out into the object mode here. And now we're rotating it there. So right now I'll take this, we'll rename it. Uh, uh, Set, or, uh, set origin, and we'll assign that to a button down here to make it a little bit easier. And we should say record to a button. As you see, number seven just popped in down here, set to origin. So now we'll give this a test again, back into edit mode. Select this corner, seven, oh, set to origin. And here we go. As far as rigging the command recorder to keyboard shortcut keys, uh, the only thing I've been able to find so far is hooking up to or rigging to the play button here. And if you hover over it, you can see the shortcut is shift and period. Uh, that you can change. I'll show you how to change that right now. Edit mode, preferences, key map. We'll search for command. And right here, you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, the only thing with that is, if you have multiple commands, you'd have to select each command in order for this to work. So we got shift period is the command. We're going to tab mode and check out the first one. There we go. Shift period. And voila. We'll do it again. Shift period. And voila. I added a second one here just to show, uh, just to move the object to the left a little bit. And that is selected, and we'll go shift period. And as you see, it moved. Shift period, shift period. So, uh, don't know how to hook anything up to any shortcuts or keyboard shortcuts to any of these down here to be able to have multiple shortcuts for different commands, but it's a little bit of something. Hope someone found this useful. Take care. Bye.